What up, Facebook? Real Talk TV with me, Cool Lady Cool. The topic is George Floyd, other victims. What we can do as black people. And how to deal with ongoing murders. <sighs> I want to first start off by saying. We just dealt with a mod. We just dealt with females. And now we're dealing with George. And when you look at that video of George. It reminds me a lot of Eric Garner. It's almost like a, a, a recaption of the same moment. But I would say worse. That man was murdered. There is no doubt. And it's all on camera. So there is no way around shit when it's there. And a lot of people say, well, they should just charge this officer for putting his knee on the neck. No, they should charge all four. Because all four are held accountable for that man's life. Because he was in all four custody at the time. The mayor say, of Minnesota say he calling for justice. He calling for him to go to jail. Why did it have to take so many people to speak out for y'all to do that in the first place? He shouldn't have been fired. He should have been taken to jail then. But it didn't happen that way. Clearly, everybody see the wrong. Clearly. But this is the life of black people around the world. When all black people knew tried to do was befriend everybody that wasn't black. And the price that black people get is hatred. And this ain't for all people that's Caucasian or any other race. It's just you got a handful of the racist ones. You know what I'm saying? And people tired of that shit. Even the, the white people tired of the shit. You know, people just tired of it. It's the same old bullshit. And you want to bring it back into like these olden days. You spitting on people and shit. Shooting people and shit over nothing. Oh, you ain't got a mask on in the store. I'm going to spit on you. Just dumb ass shit. Shit that you want to start a fight and a war with. Evil people who want to start a fight and a war with people who ain't looking for a war with them. Those who sit by and say nothing basically said it was okay that he did that to that man, for real. I mean, damn, what if that was your kinfolk? Your uncle, your brother, your dad, your son. How the fuck y'all think his family feel looking at that video, huh? And it got to be thought about if this motherfucker need to be brought to jail. And I ain't no thinking, just pick his ass up. That's why they out there having a protest. Because she ain't picked this motherfucker up. And locked him up. That's why they haven't protested. And because he killed the innocent man over nothing. That's why you're having a protest. You know why you have a protest. Oh, it's just hoodlums and thugs who want to tear things up. Speaking of that shit, don't tear shit up. Just go out there and protest. Don't tear a goddamn thing up. Because, see, that's what they want you to do. And you fall in the trap. Here we have a coronavirus thing going on. And 
you get your mind played to go out there to tear everything up. That ain't going to change nothing because shit been tore up for the longest. You know what I'm saying? Shit been getting tore up for the longest. And I commend any protest. And I, I support the protest. But I ain't supporting that tearing up shit. You know? That ain't going to get us nowhere. Instead of tearing up, let's get together and fix up ourselves first. Change this motherfucking mentality we rolling around with. Because you see it for what it is. Change your motherfucking selves. Gather together and love your motherfucking people. Or keep going through this fucking shit and not being able to help each other. Real shit. That's the way to work on us and to fix it. At least with us. On their behalf, you're going to have to keep asking. But a point in time, it's like ain't nobody motherfucking listening sometimes. Because this shit keep going on and on. People speak out, but it's like nobody for real listening. Just saying, do something. Fix it. Why is it continuously happening? Why? So, with that being said, as people, black people, Minority people is what they call it. Have to help ourselves at this moment. You have to look to God. The God that rolled within you. And the God that made you. And with that alone. And the love that you'll carry in your body for each other. Will be enough for you to try to fight through this bullshit. But if you continue to argue, fight, tear things up, it's not gonna get us nowhere. I was at the Ferguson protest. I wasn't there when things got tore up, but I was there after the cause. All that's gonna get you is set the fuck up, I'm telling y'all. Y'all out here just you know what I'm saying? I understand you frustrated and you mad. I get that shit. But that ain't the way to do it. Just protest. March. Speak. But being reckless and tearing people businesses up and stuff, man, no, man. Because that shit there come back later. This shit from their business and shit you all on camera go to jail what went later over some bullshit that made you angry true enough and you destroyed something but now I catch up with you fucking later no man fuck that fuck all that that march and protest and do what you do but don't tear nothing up man don't tear them people businesses up and shit Please, that's all I'm saying. Next thing you know, you'll have motherfucking martial law out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Think. Sometimes you push to do things to get that reaction. Yeah, push that button, motherfucker. Get mad and do some shit. But if you relax and look at it for what it truly is, work on yourself and quit trying to fight a battle without understanding what this battle is all about. For real, man. You can't go to war with army tanks what the fuck? None of us own army tanks, right? Really think about what I'm saying. True love is getting yourself together and uniting and standing as one as people. We no more chaos and disruptions. All we need right now is ourselves, each other, 
our families, our friends, and God first over everything. You know what I'm saying? The creator of life. And I really want y'all to dig deep down and try to find out what that life is. Because if you don't know you, and if you don't love you first and yours, how can you love the world? You got to start at home, man. For real, it's time to clean ourselves up just as well. We messed up. Let's fix it up. One a day at a time, one at a time, how we got to do it. But keep on, man, protesting and fight y'all fight, for real. But it hurt my soul to see a brother die the way that he did. And I don't want to really be live, y'all, because I'm dealing with some shit, death in the family and shit. I don't want to be live. But I'm telling you now, y'all got to stand the fuck up for what y'all love. And that got to be you, your families, your people, your friends, your peers, all that, man. Y'all heard dying over bullshit, G. For real dying over bullshit. And y'all continue to fight and continue to argue with each other. When it's really time to give up all that pressure, y'all in the van it for a long time, arguing and fighting and tussling and shit. Let it go. Tell that motherfucker you got beef with. It's peace, man. Let it go. Real shit. It's time to get together, man. Y'all gotta wake up. I don't cry no tears for no reason, especially in front of billions of people. Number love for y'all, man. One.